The only way you get old in this job is assume everyone's out to kill you. This time. Reports suggest a chem deal gone bad, outside Diamond City. The tales are scarce, but it sounds like whatever happened, it was pretty violent. While there's no official connection, it has been noted that Diamond City resident Henry Cook went missing at approximately the same time. If we're able to verify any further details of this story, we'll pass them on to you listeners. <laughs> Just another day in the Commonwealth, huh, folks? Here's a throwback to simpler times, when folks actually went looking for radioactive material. Huh. It's Elton Britt with Uranium Fever. Well, I 
don't know, but I've been told uranium ore is worth more than gold. I sold my cad, I bought me a Jeep, I got that bug and I can't sleep. Uranium fever has gone and got me down. Uranium fever is spreading all around. With a Geiger counter in my hand. I'm going out to take me some government land. Uranium fever has gone and got me down. Well, I had a talk with the AEC, and they brought out some maps that looked good to me. And one showed me a spot, he said he knowed, so I straddled my Jeep and headed down hey. the road. Yeah? I reckon I drove about a hundred miles down a bumpy road out through the wilds. When all of a sudden I bounced to a stop at the foot of a mountain, didn't have no top. Uranium fever has done and got me down. Uranium fever is spreading all around. With a Geiger counter in my hand. I'm going out to take me some government land. Uranium fever has done and got me down. Well, I took the Geiger and I started to climb right up to the top where I thought I'd find a hunk of rock that'd make it click just like I'd read about Vernon Pick. On the second day, I made the top, and I'm telling you, Steve, I was ready to stop. The only clicking that I heard that day was the bones in my back that had gone astray. Uranium fever has done and got me down. Uranium fever, it's spreading all around. With a Geiger counter in my hand. I'm going out to stake me some government land. Uranium fever has gone and got me down. Well, you pack up your things, you head out again into some unknown spot where nobody's been. You reach the spot where your fortune lies. You find it's been staked by 17 other guys. Well, I Nothing I hate more than raider scumbags. If you run into any, put a few down. I'm from the and got me down. Uranium fever is spreading all around. With a Geiger counter in my hand. I'm going out to take me some government land. Uranium fever has got and got me down. Crop's been growing pretty good. Girls! Girls! Watch out! Watch out! There's a two-legged animal running about. If it smokes a great big cigar, and it hangs around at a bar, if it tells the biggest lies, where's the loudest eyes? It's a man If it acts just like a cross patch Has a face with whiskers that scratch If it's stubborn as can be mean and ornery It's a man If it walks If it talks If its habits are a little bit peculiar If it brags and tries to make you think it's wonderful Be on the lookout Don't let it fool you But if it makes you get back to Diamond City one of these days. Biggest town I ever saw. The sky. If it kisses you and you find you like it to grab it, it's a man. Got work to do. Can't talk now. If it whistles each time you pass, owns a car runs out of gas and it's time that you get half better watch your step it's a man if it acts just like it's the boss when it knows that you are of course if it gets a little rough thinks it's very tough don't care much for it's good man. that place if it is walks, nothing but trouble if it talks if its habits are a little bit awesome. peculiar if it brags and tries to make you think it's wonderful be on the lookout don't let it fool you but if it's kneeling down the on one gun, knee, yes. saying, darling, please marry me, then don't hesitate, better name the date, and then grab it, hold it, hang on to it, for it's a man. If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. The whole place is run by robots.
Easy living, this ain't. You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. back hurts, my feet hurts, everything hurts. Honest as honest work gets. Crops coming in pretty good. is hard to process. Apologies, if sometimes I make little sense, I will work on this. Yeah? One more tomorrow, courtesy of Frankie Carl. Folks out there listening to Diamond City Radio have always enjoyed the radio plays, right? Yes. The ones about the dreaded Silver Shroud. We've had them in rotation for a while now, and they're a fun little adventure. Only now, it seems, the adventure has become real. That's right, folks. The Commonwealth now has its very own superhero. Lost the track form of how many blisters I got. The Silver Shroud. Or at least... Someone dressing up like him. Crime and Good Neighbor has a new enemy, it seems. Why would someone don that costume? Your guess is as good as mine. Probably better, in fact. Good Neighbor resident Kent Connolly swears that he was actually rescued by this Tommy Gun toting hero. So I guess if you're out there and thinking about breaking the law, you might want to consider steering clear of Good Neighbor. Or else the Shroud might come after you. This one will pick up your spirits for sure. It's Nat King Cole with Orange Colored Sky. I was walking along, minding my business, when I was an orange colored sky. Drinking in sunshine Went out of that orange colored view I got a look at you One look and I yelled timber 
Watch out for flying glass. Cause the ceiling fell in and the bottom fell out. I went into a spin. That's why the shot I've been hit. Yes. Life still ain't perfect, but we're surviving. Minding my business when love came and hit me in the eye. Flash, flash, Malakazam. Out of an orange colored sky. One look and I yell timber. Watch out for flying glass. Cause the ceiling fell in and the bottom fell out. I went into a spin. I started to shout. I've been hit. This is it. I did it. I was walking along, minding my business. When love came and hit me in the eye. Flash, bam, Alcazar. Out of an orange colored purple stripe. Pretty green polka dot sky. Head out. Well, all right. You see a lot of folks at their worst in my line of work. Hard to not let it get to you sometimes. Oh, 
Rock, they should try to stand. Instead of landing on Plymouth Rock, Plymouth Rock would land on land. In olden days, a thing I can't help but the fall. Someone's coming. Shocking, but now God knows anything goes. Good offers to who wants to better work now. What's that? Something out there. The detection system must be on the fritz. You've all seen or heard What's that? about the latest issue of public occurrences. Some bold claims by our intrepid reporter. Since possibly living among us, undetected, very serious implications. Wouldn't you agree? The mayor's office has, of course, issued a statement denying the validity of the article, saying all is well in Diamond City. The mayor himself insists that the fears raised in the article are unfounded. Good to know, I guess. But between you and me, listeners, I'm gonna keep my eyes open just to be on the safe side. Well, never a dull moment here at Diamond City Radio. Billie Holiday's in love, and that makes it easy living for her. Enjoy, folks.
nothing in life but you. Hi. I never regret the years I'm giving. There is it to give. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Didn't you ask the Minutemen for help? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days, after Quincy. Bad business, that. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Will you be willing to join the Minutemen once I've dealt with those raiders? We'll certainly give it a good long think. People have gotten used to not being able to count on you folks. That's not going to change overnight. You got the accent. Creates the positive, elim, minus the negative, latch on to the affirmative, don't mess with Mr. In Between. You got to spread joy up to the maximum, bring gloom down to the minimum, have faith or pandemonium, liable to walk upon the scene. To illustrate my last remark, Jonah in the whale, no in the ark. What did they do just when everything looked so dark? Man, they said we better act and create positive healing. My name's a negative, latch on to the affirmative, don't mess the mystery in between.
the smooth sound of the <laughs> city radio are brought to you. Commonwealth weaponry. It's a dangerous world out there. Protect yourself. Protect your family. And having found its way back home to our record player, here's Bob Crosby with Way Back Home. <laughs> I don't think we're alone. The roads are the dustiest, the winds are the dustiest, the gates are the rustiest, the bars are the crustiest, the songs the lustiest, the friends the trustiest way. The trees are the sappiest, the days are the happiest, the dogs are the happiest, the kids are the scrappiest, the jokes the snappiest, the folks the happiest way back home. Someone's coming. I left the homestead. I really must confess. A song of loneliness. The grass is the springiest, the bees are the stingiest, the birds are the wingiest, the bells are the ringiest, the hearts the singiest, the arms the clingiest way back home. What about the sun? Hey, I think someone's out here. Nothing the there now. The what do you think? The owls are the hey! Yeah, the plants the fruitiest. The stars the shootiest. The green, the funny, the smiles the, 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 the sunniest way back home. Don't know Who's there? why I left the home. Oh. 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 I really must confess. I'm away. Where'd that little fucking go? 
Without a clue Cause baby, it's just you That's it You leave me breathless, weak in the knees I'm feeling restless, pardon me please All I know is true But baby, it's just you Help me, help me, rescue my heart Save me, save me from falling apart Take me, take me, baby, I'm sure you got the power, you got the cure. Awesome. Like a train, <laughs> jump on the track, or a car deck, missing a jack. What's the queen of hearts to do? Cause baby, it's just you. Just you radiating through and through. Oh, baby, it's just baby, it's just baby, it's just you. Hope you enjoyed that last number. Something Someone's out often there. in short supply okay. in the Commonwealth. Cut the shit! Who so is I'm that? I'm happy one? to be able to deliver a Light him up. to you. If you were one of the folks who were in the shit, about the whereabouts of the diamond Nick Valentine is back in town and seemingly none the worse for wear. While details about what happened to him are scarce, I for one am just glad he's back. And in one piece. And if there's any more good news to share, you'll hear it first here on Diamond City Radio. Keep your eyes open! Ladies, this asshole's I bet every stuff. one of you out there knows a man like the one Betty Hutton sings about. Here's a, he's a demon, he's a devil, he's a doll. Everyone tells me he's no good and doesn't love me like he should. I would forget him if I only could. He's a demon. He's a devil. He's a doll. But man can look me in the eye. 
And tell the biggest, sweetest lie And I forget that lipstick's on his tie He's a demon Sweet He's a devil Sometimes I make up my mind that I'll stop being so blind and tell him off real bad. But then it turns on those charms and there I am in his arms. And I forget what I meant. I want to tell him drop dead, but I keep loving him instead. My mama must have dropped me on my head. He's a demon. He's a devil. I die. <laughs> Sometimes he's sweet, sometimes he's true Sometimes I wish he weren't in bug too He's a demon He's a devil He's a Says he'll call for me at night And take me out somewhere to dine Then staggers in and sings sweet and old Excuse me. You find those Ravis? They're history. Now what do you say about joining the Minutemen? Helping others when they need it. You helped us. So it'd be pretty ungrateful of us to turn our backs on other folks. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Minutemen could use someone like you. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. It'll get more and more useful as we get more allied settlements. Eventually, you'll have help wherever you need it. So, there's something I need to ask you. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. I never really told you what happened to us. Are you really the last Minuteman? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former Minutemen out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy Massacre. But we were the last active group of Minutemen. And now, well, it's just me. 
What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. With you at the helm, the Minutemen could be a big damn deal. What makes you think I can do this? You saved us in Concord. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Okay, I'll do it. Finally, something going the Commonwealth's way. Good, good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth too. Don't worry, I'll be right beside you all the way, General. Why are you calling me General? The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new General. Now it's your job to make him more than an empty title. I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. 